Hey guys, GameWarzer60, and we're back with another video. In this one, we're drawing Thumbnail 13 from the today's video. In this video, I'll be talking about my art production, Tokyo Revenger Season 2, and what kind of things I'm doing right now. You guys will see this as I release more speedpaint videos, but my art has progressed quite a lot. I feel that it's a lot easier for me to draw now than it was during the beginning of 2022. For these speedpaints, it's taking me no longer than 3 hours in total time, when it used to take me a minimum of 4 hours. I guess that I've suddenly developed dramatically and this has allowed me to evolve as an artist in terms of my speed while matching a similar quality. I hope that I will continue to evolve and I can't wait to see what kind of stuff I'll be able to do in the future. Along with the quality of my art improving, I feel like I've been able to take on more as an artist. Right now as I'm making this video I have two artworks in progress, that and hopefully my sketch art style will be able to develop further, allowing me to have a quicker type of art style which will work for future challenge videos. Speaking of, I have an idea for a challenge I'd like to do, you guys will see whether I go through with it. If I do, that video should come out the Wednesday after this one. Before making this video, I watched episodes 4 and 5 because today it's Wednesday I'm making the script. Both episodes came out simultaneously. A lot of stuff is going on in this new season, and we're off to the works. So Takamichi was the one who made the order for Akun to kill Hina in this new timeline where he's the top executive of Pilmon. Kizuki ordered him to get Akun to do that, however. Because of this, Takamichi's under arrest. Luckily, Naoto was able to shake his hand before he was taken away. So now we're in the past. Takamichi recently became the captain of the first division with Chief Yu as his vice captain. We learned from Katsutora that Hakaishiba kills his brother for money and runs the Black Dragons, which merged with Tomon. Takamichi is trying to prevent this in order to change the present. Despite Chief Yu's dumb plan with Takamichi using a cake to prevent Hakai from leaving Tomon, he proves to be quite smart. Since Mitsuya allowed Hakai to join the Black Dragons in exchange for Yusaha's safety, Takamichi didn't do anything to change the present. So, Chief Yu explains this and urges him not to go back. Draken refuses Takamichi's request to fight the Black Dragons and prevents Hakai from killing his brother. So now it's just Chief Yu and Takamichi. But, Kisuki and Hanma for some reason decide to help them. The main thing that I'm wondering is why. If Hakai went through with this, it'd benefit Kisuki. Then again, whether Tomon won or lost against Valhalla was relevant as it served Kizuki either way. One thing that has upset a lot of people watching is why Takamichi breaks up with Hina. The thing is, she dies in the present despite this. This doesn't make her any safer, at least in the present. The best thing I can come up with is that he's preventing her from any suffering between the 12 years prior to her death, but it doesn't make too much sense. Also, what kind of fixation does Kizuki have toward Takamichi and Hina? We learned through Hinata that she and Kizuki went to elementary school together, and he saw Takamichi when the two of them first met. That may have something to do with all of this. I'm excited to see what happens next. As of right now, I've slowed down on art in comparison to what I was doing last month. That is likely due to art burnout. To correct this, I decided not to rush my creator practice and allow myself to create art at my own pace. I would still like to be able to create more than 36 finished works by the end of the year, but I don't want to sacrifice my passion and drive for art in order to accomplish that goal. Also, I've gotten more into character designing, so in the near future you guys will see another reference sheet along with the speed paint of said character. I've said this many times, but check out my Discord if you want to see this kind of stuff early. Also, I've jotted down some more story ideas that I'd like to explore further. Speaking of, I was able to create a story for the guy designing the random emoji challenge that you guys saw last month. He still doesn't have a name to this day. If you guys have any ideas for that, be sure to let me know in the comments. After watching a video, I was inspired to design a swordsman. I haven't drawn many people who use swords, just off the top of my head, ones that I've drawn are Zoro, Ba, and Kagurami Kazuchi. I would like to add some dynamic actions to my drawings, but I don't want to force it either. I might dedicate some nail sessions for specific characters, or specific anime like I did for Bleach and JoJo's. Because of how many speed paints I have ready, I might also increase the frequency of uploads, but at the same time, this system is working out well. This will likely ensure that even during art stumps, you guys will be able to see that uh, speed paints and all that and stuff that I'm up to. My goal is still to start our manga that I'll release on Webtoon. It takes a lot of work to plan it all out, but I'm too impatient I want to get straight into drawing. Wish me luck. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications, check out my Twitter and Discord, both are in the description. If you want to know what I'm currently doing or thinking about, those two places are the best places to go. I will see you guys next time.